if I want any chance of making it as a legitimate content creator and Apex player, then I really, really need to get my act together in a handful of areas in my life. I need to get back to that drive and that headspace of just waking up every day and pushing myself to the limit. So that's exactly what I did today. I woke up early and I'm getting ready for my first morning stream ever. So I'm gonna go hop into the stream and I will talk to you guys afterwards about all the other areas that I need to work on. Probably gonna say that I'm being dramatic about this, but I, I kid you not, one of my most hated things in the entire world is waking up early. I know it sounds ridiculous, but there's just something about waking up before like 9 a.m. that just hurts my soul. But that said, I love the mornings, no joke, like I love the mornings. It sounds really odd that I hate waking up early, but I love the mornings. If I can find some way to actually wake up early and stay awake, I love just that feeling of being present in the morning and just carrying that energy out through the rest of the day. I feel so productive. So I decided today I'm going to wake up early and stream and no joke for it being my first morning stream ever. It felt really, really good. Like I felt like I went and conquered something. And then after the stream, I like, now I have the rest of my day to do whatever. Like this feels good. So I'm really happy that I took the time to just at least for this week, I'm gonna test out streaming in the mornings and if I continue to like it like I loved it this morning, I think I'm gonna keep it around. That said, the mental piece of me trying to just improve myself is only one piece of the problem. On the other side, there's this piece of where I feel like I've just kind of had this lack of energy lately and I feel like a big reason for it is the lack of my physical health. Look, I remember being like 22 years old in college, something like that, and just having so much energy all the damn time. Like, I was always doing something. I never got tired and life was fun and I just, I, I felt good all the time. Now fast forward a few years after graduating college and getting like a full-time office job, you start to just very quickly become very sedentary and you really don't do that much with your body and it really does make a difference on your energy levels. Like it is absolutely insane. And then once I finally quit my job in this last year and started going full time with content creation, that's literally all I do now is just sit and stream and I'm not very active. And for the last handful of months, all I've wanted to do is to be a better streamer and be a better entertainer, which means I need to be a little more energetic, be talking a lot more, all that good stuff. And I swear after like two hours of streaming, I'm just absolutely wiped. Like I'm just done. I can feel myself getting tired. And it's weird because mentally I'm like, be more energetic, Ryan, be more energetic. You can do it. And I just, I can't bring myself to do it. It's tough. So I think what I'm going to focus on for the next handful of months is not only start working out again, just in general, like lifting weights, but just also get outside more. I used to just always be out and about doing stuff. And now it's like, now it's like a special occasion if Ronte and I get out of the house for at, at some point in the week to go do something. So I'm really trying to be better about that. But yeah, that is uh, that's what we're out doing right now. Even though it's like a hundred something degrees, we're just out and about just trying to live life, you know? All right, made it back home and I'm currently transferring some stream recordings from my main PC to that little SSD right there. So then I can take that SSD, plug it into my Mac and start making some TikToks. While we wait for those files to transfer, I thought I should give you guys an update. Well, actually it's a really big update for this YouTube channel, but I have gone ahead and I have privated a handful of my most popular videos on this YouTube channel. When I first started this YouTube channel, I actually wanted it to be just primarily a vlogging channel, but I was just feeling so defeated after many months of trying on YouTube of not getting any views because, well, no one really wants to watch a vlogger that has two subscribers and it just, it really wasn't working out. So I shifted my content a bit and what actually blew this channel 
quote, blew this channel up was from some of my tutorial videos. And so the big thing that I had to come to terms with is unfortunately 90% of my traffic to this YouTube channel was from those types of tutorial videos of where they will watch that one video, maybe subscribe, and then when I put out my next following video, such as a vlog like this, they see it on their homepage and they're like, well, I'm not interested in that at all, which then hurts that video's analytics, essentially stunting the growth of the type of audience that I want to build. Because I really do want to make a community feel on this YouTube channel. So as hard as it's going to be for me for the next couple of months to just watch my stats crumble, I think in the long run of me privating all of my tutorial type videos and only continuing to make these types of vlogs and continuing to document this journey. I know it's going to work out. I just know it's going to. So I'm really, really excited to see what happens over the next couple of months. I know it sounds absolutely crazy and it sounds like a huge gamble, but I truly believe in the process and I have faith that this is gonna work. So one fun perk about living on the West Coast is that it gets really, really hot all the time in the summer and it stays hot. Luckily where we are, it's kind of like a dry heat so it's not too bad, but it's been like over 100 for the last couple of weeks. But today it finally cooled down a little bit. Well, a little bit, AK like not above 100. <laughs> but of course, right as that starts to happen, it has been so smoky here in Boise for the last couple of days really, really badly, but to try and like be positive about something. These sunsets have just been absolutely insane looking because of all the smoke. So we are like climbing up the side of a hill right now. Funny enough to go to the same spot that I filmed a video a year ago of when I quit my job. We found this really cool spot to look at the sunset. And that's what we are doing right now. Sun's still a little high right now, so we have a little bit of time, but uh, actually now thinking about it, I quit my job last year, July 31st, and it has almost been exactly a year now. I feel like I have learned so much about myself, both streaming wise, especially, and just as a YouTuber. Um, I know back then, like I, I really didn't show much of my personality. Like I had the creativity there, but the personality piece wasn't quite as strong, and I was just really unconfident as a creator, but especially in these last couple of months, I feel like my confidence has just gotten so much better and I care less and less about what people think and I just, I want to be myself on the internet and overall I'm just, I'm really happy with where I'm at, even though a lot of these changes that I've discussed throughout this vlog are kind of scary to me. I am just, I'm really, really looking forward to this next year. I think it's gonna be absolutely insane and I think it's gonna be the year that everything just kind of clicks and uh, I'm just, I'm really looking forward to it. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.